January 25, 2013, the first race of the DNQ karting season, was hosted at the then known Mooresville Motorplex. DNQ karting series presented by Woodchuck Hard Cider and O'Quinn's Trailer Sale. Green flag flies. We are underway with the Icebreaker 400. That hard left hander. Oh, we're riding along right now with Kyle Strickler. They call him the high side tickler. He's more of a paint or dirt specialist. Doesn't do much racing on pavement, but he's definitely been looking for his first DNQ win. We got one car. This guy's in the field, and they were really after each other. Strickler gets into nup. Oh, contact through the S's. Two guys go off the track. Strickler gets turned around. Fast right hand carousel, you gotta be quick. Oh, trouble! Bio Queen trailer sales. Oh, trouble! Off the final corner to the right hand corner. Let's see how Strickler handles this. Oh, pushes Nup over the curb. Strickler gets into him, they both get off the track, and now Strickler, oh, he's gonna turn around. He takes himself out while trying to take out. Flag here, Matt De Benedetto's leading. Benedetto leads it now. He gets dropped back to the third spot. Jeremy Clemens, your new leader in the Boudreaux's Butt Pace sponsored number 14, has got Bronson Butcher hot on his tail, and this could be the pass right here going downhill. You know, Jeremy Clemens has got to run the rest of this lap. This is the lap of his life right now. He's got to set a fast lap. You know Bronson's going to give it all he's got to get by. Gets through the carousel corner with ease. Now they come up to the quick S's, the left rights, and then the hard left, the 90 degree turn as... Clemens loses a little bit of ground to Bronson Butcher. Here is the corner. Will Bronson move him out of the way? Clemens gets in there hot. Is he going to keep his momentum up? Looks like Clemens will. Both carts sliding around on the final lap here as they come through that right-hander to the downhill straightaway run that will bring him to the front straightaway. Bronson's going to drive it in really deep here. Can he get him? No, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Jeremy Clemens is going to win the Icebreaker 400 down in victory lane Tyler Young dousing Jeremy Clemens Tyler Young wins a little bit more than Jeremy Clemens so Tyler's got a little more experience at that the second race brought three brand new drivers and Joey Denowitz Michael Tutal Medill and field filler fairgrounds driver Skip Flores dark clouds and driving rains played a very big factor in race number two well today here at the Mooresville Motorplex 23 of the best go-kart drivers are gonna square head-to-head -head on this Easter Sunday on the Ranco Industries 400. Look at that field go by. Yeah, you know, the track is very... It looks like it was Tyler Young. Looks like he spun out in the dirt and he's in the corner. Look at this gaggle of cars all breaking up. It's going to be very hard to keep everyone together. Yeah, tell you what, it looks like there are three wides. Carding veteran himself showing deep tips the ropes around MMX today. You see some of the drivers wiping the visors as they come down a lot here. Oh, trouble on turn one. It's Glenn Wheeler. Quick, there's a guy who just has... Oh, oh trouble. Oh, Eddie DeHunt Jr. around this fall. Those tires and that's looked like what Eddie DeHunt Jr. did. And Eddie DeHunt Jr. down here to the front stretch. Oh, Tyler Young is off the track. Hits the fence. Let's look at that again real quick. We don't have much video of this. Tyler off the track and looks like he hits the light pole. And Tyler Young is stuck over there underneath the light pole with a wrecked go-kart, Barry. I tell you what, it sounds like a bomb just went off here at MMA. Yeah, front stretch, Bronson clears floor as they get down in the corner. Oh, and McReynolds wrecks him. Bowling ball, Brandon McReynolds. As they come down the front stretch, Jeremy Clements is going to win the Young's Building Systems 400. And what a drive by Jeremy Clements. Dirt racing experience at a prime. Also, Kyle Strickler gets the heavy pro. Light amateur goes to Blake Carty. And heavy amateur to Stephen DeHunt as Ryan Blaney. Oh! Ryan Blaney spins Bronson Butcher. And look at all those spots Bronson's going to lose coming to the checkered flag. Be sure to tune in next week for the Daytona 500 go-kart racing, the DN Quinn 500. For Eric Witchin, this is Barry McReynolds. So long. The DN Quinn 500, the biggest race of the season. So a new driver, Corey LaJoy. Also, another driver was ready to show he was ready to win. Well, today here at Victory Lane Karting, it's the D and Quinn 500, the biggest race of the year. This track surface, look how shiny it is. It's hard concrete, really cold. Kind of makes it really hard for the tires to hook up. So those drivers that had dirt experience, they may have an advantage here this afternoon. Drivers getting ready. Green flag, we're underway for the DN Quinn 500. And look at these cars go. And look how tight this track is going to be today, boys. We got four cars trying to go into a tight left-hand turn. I don't even know how they got through there, driver. Beating and banging going on as we look at these guys going down to the hairpin. This could get interesting. 
It's important here to keep your momentum up through these corners and look at Sean Lesson again. Looking inside now. Inside. He's getting, he got hit by the 20 to hold the break. You know, the officials think they got big balls and they think they know how to run this place, but I didn't just made a bullshit call and it was a racing deal. Everybody's beating the hell out of each other. I had by the fastest car and he fucking slammed me early in the race and just beat the shit out of me. I went back to like 10, so who goes around, comes around. These boys want to come play with the big dogs. That's how it's going to work. Off of the final turn, Corey LaJoy is going to win the D.N. Quinn 500. The green flag, we're underway here for the light feature of the D.N. Quinn 500. Racing him, I assume that he's going to run out of patience here in about another lap or two. You know, it's still early as uh, Blaney goes ahead and gets by Bronson Butcher, and uh, we'll see if Bronson can get by him now. That's got to be definitely be concerning for the rest of the Standing up a little bit here, and... Uh, the words I heard from uh, his sponsor. Oh, it looks like Brandon Nup might have got turned. It looks like Too Tall took the advice and just didn't even play around. Well, you know what? Too Tall does live with Skip Flores, who does not like Clements Bronson Butcher. And then it's Cliff Daniels, Daryl. It looks like Skip just got by Clements. Well, it looks like Skip's five for the second place to see if Jeremy Clements can follow it up by passing him back. Clip. Oh, and he's going to get into him. Looks like we got a wreck. Hopefully these two drivers are wearing a bell helmet. They don't get hurt. Back up board, Bronson Butcher. Let's see what happens as Skip falls. Back. Oh, Skip Flores just wrecked Jeremy Clements. Unbelievable. Look at these two. They're going to get out of their go-karts. Oh, my goodness. And uh, Herring involved in that. And there's a fight. There's a fight in the final corner at the racetrack, pushing and shoving going on. These two are fighting. Look at the track officials coming over to try to break it up. And Jeremy Clements is to get out of my way. Oh, man. There's a huge fight now. Big fight on TV. Big fight. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at Skip Flores there. Very upset at the situation. You know what? You give it all you've got physically and mentally. And for that to happen to you in the last few laps does nothing but get you upset. Your name gets inscribed on the trophy. And, uh, Corey, very happy man. Rest in peace, Danny. We miss you. <laughs> After the DN Quinn 500, Jeremy Clements showed that he was touchable. Drivers Bronson Butcher, Ryan Flores, and Drew Herring were all within striking distance of the points lead. This race, the Winston showed the girlfriends for the first time ever qualifying for the men. It turned out to be a very spectacular race. Tonight, it's the Winston, presented by Signs by Tomorrow of Glendale, Arizona. Here they come off the final corner. Green flag, we're underway for the women's race. 25,000 strong out here to see the race tonight. Look at them all go by, racing hard into turn one. This is the first time ever at GoPro Motorplex that 23 women have taken the green at a race. It was it spun in front of her, but Crystal Rose gets a piece of it, ends up getting to the outside of the track in the dirt, and uh, she doesn't have a choice. You pretty much don't have any traction when you get off track. Job and looks like she's gonna get into oh, her. Oh, what a mess right there. Two carts racing ahead of her. It's like Christy Mills is gonna get four wheels up in the Tr air and off the trouble. race track. Real quick. Yeah, Anna's racing hard here through the exit. Oh. Look at Christy Mills busting her way through there. Let's go on board with Brittany Bowden here coming to the last lap. Cart spins in front of her. Yeah, she's gonna get turned around after having a pretty decent run. She Green flag flies and look at this field, full field for tonight's race, and uh, we're gonna get some exciting footage out of this. Now, I think this is a bigger field tonight than the Camper World Truck Series race at Vegas. This is gonna get passed by Anthony, Norm, Ben, and Palmer, and Palmer Rex. Well, it's Tyler Green gonna give him the position. Oh, and he's gonna get turned by Mr. Benowitz. And he's three sometimes. He used all of his road racing skills to dive down in there and wipe them all out. Well, we hope you enjoyed that portion of Crank It Up. Oh, that is Derek Nealon out there in front of him. And oh, Drew Herring goes around. And Stephen oh. DeHunt. Wow, what a wreck right there. Drew, if he wants a chance. Things starting to come together for Brandon Nupp. And maybe he can get a very good finish out of this. Nupp is one of those guys. He's always in contention to win one of these things at the end. Let's take a look at that instant replay. It just happens, man. As part of racing, Tutal Madil comes down. Nealon wants a spot. White flag is out. That's what happens. Drew Herring gets the win in the Winston. By a single car length, it's going to be his first victory. And look how happy he is. All Pro Motorflex, we've got two winners here tonight down in victory lane. Amber Colvin wins for the Ladies Pro, and Cindy Shepard wins for the Ladies Amateur. As we look at uh, all of our drivers here celebrating the win tonight. Yeah, I mean... Look at this just After the Winston, Tyler Young had a six point lead over Joey Denowitz and a seven point lead over Eddie DeHunt Jr.
In the light division, it was tied at 29 points between Jeremy Clements, Drew Herring, and Bronson Butcher, with Skip Flores in striking distance. Two drivers in a heavy amateur battle were Stephen DeHunt and Jeffrey Cordero. And we would also see the closest finish in DNQ history. Race venue, the GoPro Motorplex. Home of today's DNQ Karting Series race, the SRI Stock Car Steel North South Shootout. Two drivers looking to dethrone Tyler Young from the points lead, Joey Denowitz and Eddie DeHunt Jr. Eddie DeHunt Jr. and uh, Joey Denowitz have made it very difficult for Tyler Young to maintain his points lead. Let's take a look at the winners from 2013. Very interesting to see that we've had four different winners in the heavy class. For the land of the free and the the flag man. Uh, green flag, we're underway for the North South shootout. And it's hard to slow them down with your hands when their foot are on the gas as the green flag goes by on the North South shootout. Drew Herring on board with him as he comes out of the hairpin, gives Lewandowski a shot. Trouble right in front of him. James Hollywood Wall and Michael Tutal Medill go spinning. James Wall around again. I have never seen a middle finger pop out as fast and as accurate as Jeff Cordero lays out right there. Right there. Right. That is impressive. Look at this interesting shot we got from uh, Derek Curtis who is actually holding this camera right now. Any closer and he might get hit. Guys are going to catch him. Oh, light. Speaking of light, the lights just went out. Well, that can't be good. Let's take a look at this. Boom! Wow, that's going to be something else, and uh, really sucks for Denowitz. He's got a tinted visor on. And uh, another view from Drew Herring's camera. I don't know what to happen. It's like the Super Bowl last year. The lights just went out. As you look on board with Kyle Strickler. It's in the rental kart series. Yeah, I mean, the very fact that you even see carts coming across the front stretch with all these challenges being faced just shows you the kind of talent we're dealing with out there. Looking at the back camera there, and uh, Tony Palmer moves Jeremy Clements out of the way. Tony Palmer with some more shoulder lean. I tell you what, I can't believe that something like that would happen. Clements gets in there, gets too hot, locks the rears up. Barry. I tell you what, with two drivers being from the south and the top two, I'm going to go with the south. Herring overdrove that corner, opened the door for Clements. Clements gets a huge run. I can't believe it. He might blow this lead. Where did this come from? Jeremy Clements, the squirrel on the last lap. He's making a move for the lead down on the inside of Drew Herring. He might have changed engines going down the backstretch. Drew Herring now to second, and Truex is going to catch him. Big run by Ryan Truex. Could it be the north that wins this thing? Unbelievable. Drew Herring had an immense lead, and now he's losing it, and we'll go down to the hairpin. Clements still in lead. Wow, look at this. Jeremy Clements is going to take the lead and maintain it off of the hairpin. Drew Herring makes contact with Clements. Clements puts his hand up. Now it's down to Herring and Truex. Truex with the shot moves him up the track. And it's going to be Ryan Truex in the lead. Here they come down the last corner. Clements makes the move, holds down Herring, and at the line, it's Clements takes the win. What a finish. I saw my opportunity. I drove in the back of Drew and moved him. I had the lead going into the last corner, and then uh, Jeremy got under me, and that was all she wrote. Unfortunately, coming across the uh, start finish line on the last lap, we dropped the cylinder, and uh, I just lost some power. and. I went off into one and I, I, I just didn't have the power and we were on the back stretch. Clements was able to get by me and I just fell in line and tried to ride it out and luckily I was able to get behind him and catch enough draft true, and true, a push. True, true, true. There's only, there's, only, there's only one cylinder in the go-kart. It's gone. Yeah, I, fin I finished dead. You know, the Dale Earnhardt once told me that uh, whether they're cheering or booing, at least they're making noise and even though I never met him, he told me that. Boy, I mean, we couldn't have put on any better race. That was a show, and it was uh, it was a ton of fun. It definitely was a show, but do you realize with this win today, you now walk out of here being the all-time wins leader in the DNQ Karting Series? Yeah, that's pretty neat, man. I mean, that's awesome. I'm uh, I'm excited. I, I don't even know how many more races there are, but uh, I hope uh, I hope it's just one or two so we can get this points championship. After a good finish, Tyler Young could clinch the championship in the Bush Clash and one driver was ready to show that he still had it. Along with that, Bronson Butcher and Drew Herring hope to capitalize on Jeremy Clements missing this race. Today is the Jason Aphids Bush Class for the DQ Carding Series, presented by All Faxes Paint. I'm Nigel Thornberry, and we're here with legendary co-host Barry Mark. Dominant season here, look at Tyler Young's season so far, Barry. 
Tyler Young has absolutely been the most dominant driver I think I've seen in the DNQ Kart Series this year. A first, a second, a third, a second, and a third. I don't think you've seen anybody else be as consistent as Mr. Tyler Young. Tyler Young has never finished worse than third, and he also won the exhibition race here in December, the Newport News Network 500, then won the icebreaker. But Tyler, of course, still leading heavy points. Absolutely, and I think Tyler Young has what it takes to maybe even clinch that owner's championship today. One driver in the last five starts here has really been coming on, turn hot, Drew Herring. Drew Herring's had a very consistent year in the DEQ Kart Series with one win in four top fives, but he had a bad run in the rain earlier this year that I think is holding him out of the championship lead right now. Drew Herring got his first win in the summer here for the Winston with help of his girlfriend Anna Schwartz. And he's now second in the championship points, Barry. The green flag is out. Green flag here for Jason Aford's Bush Class, presented by Off Axis Paint Replay. Well, as you would say, Nigel, it looks like Eddie's fighting a lot of oversteer here, and he gets loose in the corner and about loses it. But a great job of passed by Drew Herring. And what a move by Drew Herring. Oh, God, almost misses Tony Palmer right there. What a maneuver. Drew Herring right there with an off-track excursion. He's going to have to clean off his tires. Yep, get the tires cleaned off on that new set of pavement as Drew jumps by jumping Jack Bailey for position. Well, Drew Herring just inherited a mess as he celebrates right there. Let's see what happened here from Stephen DeHunt's in-court camera. On board here with Stephen DeHunt is bad boy Brandon Nup pushes the envelope and actually dumps Jason Aford. Absolutely. Well, let's not stray away from this race that's going on right now. Joey Denowitz is very upset with his go-cat, and we heard that he may be pitting to swap carts. Looks like they're coming around the corner here. Tyler Truex gets into Ryan Blaney, causing Curtis Ratzloff to spin out, and then the rest of that happened. In Ryan Blaney, much like Charles Lewandowski's driving career, just never had a chance once he got turned. Looking from the back of Jerry Denowitz's camera, he had nowhere to go. Wow, and I just think he ran out of racetrack there as he plows right over the barrier. My Play. goodness. Ryan Blaney does not give him any room. He hits the cabs and the barrier. Let's look at this again here from Tyler Young's in-card camera. Well, I think this might be the end of Brandon Nup's day. I think he may have just threw a rod in that thing after that wreck. I see oil everywhere. Looking for multiple camera views here. Joey Denowitz saying Brandon Nup on the side after that accident. Brandon did run him off the racetrack, so his retaliation was not giving him any room. Brandon experienced some oversteer, and you see the results there. Eddie Hall Jr. hitting a piece of debris. Points battles. Jeffrey Cordero gets away. Let's take a look at the Shark Lounge replay. Looks like uh, Aford just oversteer and then loses himself and Stavid the Hunt, innocent bystander. Yeah, there's really not much Steven can do there. His chops, as they would say, trying to get it to Ryan Blaney. Oh, my. Let's look at that again right there. That was an unbelievable move. I think I saw all four wheels come off the course. Let's look at that again in our Lollipops Gentleman's Club instant replay. Ryan Blaney pops out of his go-kart like a jack-in-the-box. I don't think I've seen this since Dale Earnhardt Sr. popped out of his go-kart once here at GoPro Motorplex. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at his head bouncing. It looks like a bobblehead head almost. And he is going to take the win in the Light Pro Series. How about for Bronson Butcher? Not a single win since the icebreaker earlier this year. And to bring another one home, I'm sorry, the Newport News Network 500. And Tyler Young wins the heavy division. And you see Tyler very jubilant throwing his hands in my hand. Man, I tell you, it's been a long time. Uh, got a good car there at the end. And uh, that, that, that comes Joey, man. He's good. He got by me with three to go there, and uh, it, it was definitely a shootout there, and I uh, got by him with two to go there, so, uh, you know, he's made it really tough on us, and uh, it's been a while since we got a trophy, so I'm really glad to be back in victory lane, man. Uh, this, this series, I can't thank everybody enough, that and uh, made this the best, best, you got to be on your A game, and uh, proud to finally get to take one home. It's been, I didn't even get one all summer, so it's been a long time. It would have been good to put on the show for the fans and uh, battle out with these guys. I like racing with them. Um, yeah, as long as I'm winning, I'm happy. It's not merely racing. It's dancing. Rolling and turning. Rising and falling. Synchronized. Harmonized. Where racers and their machines can't attack the track, they must move with it. 
where wheel work follows the lead of footwork. One ill-tuned instrument. Rubbled off of turn number nine. Big wreck, big wreck behind you. One sour note. Oh, oh big oh. crash in turn number two. One toe out of place. They're gonna fight. I wanna see this. And the performance can come crashing down. Chase clock is ticking toward midnight. The ballroom is beginning to empty. It's win now, or be asked to leave the floor. The Joe's Water Beds 500, the season finale in the DNQ Karting Series. Teller Young has already clinched the championship leaving Joey Denowitz to race for pride. Drew Herring was up by one point over Jeremy Clements, who had the most wins that season. Ronson Butcher was two behind them. Ronson needed some help in order to win the championship. He also needed to win the race. Ronson would need help from drivers Ryan Blaney, Ryan Truex, and Kyle Larson to win the race. Also in the heavy amateur division, Stephen DeHunt had a four-point lead over Jeff Cordero, who would need to have a good run to beat him. And the green flag is out, ladies and gentlemen, for the season finale, the Joe's Waterbeds 500. Oh, stacking up in front of him, trouble. Bronson Butcher spins, and the whole field piles into this wreck, Barry. What a wreck. I mean, I think that's the biggest wreck that's ever happened in the DNQ Garden Series. I think the whole... Well, let's go on board here at Eddie DeHunt Jr. See, he gets in hot, locks up the brakes, and it's been raining out, so the ground's really wet. And once you get out into the grass, he just cannot control the car. In the barriers there, Barry, and uh, seems like he got stuck in the mud, couldn't get out, and uh, eventually gets it going. As we see Michael Tutal Medill leading the field after that wreck, and uh, they're starting to spread out a little bit. Hopefully Drew can catch a leader. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like, oh gosh, aboard Eddie DeHunt's camera, Drew Herring gets knocked off track by Jeremy Clements. Drew better be careful to clean his tires off after getting up into the marbles there. Oh, it looks like he's actually turned around on a... Two laps to go here in this first segment, and the season is halfway over, Barry. Yeah, I mean, uh, coming down to the final 30 minutes of the entire... Well, it's do or die time for all the drivers here. Oh, gosh, it looks like we got a wreck going on behind us here. We're going to have to restart this race. Here we go. For the final time this season, green flag. We're underway for the second segment and the final one of the season. I'll tell you what, if Bronson wants to win this championship, he's got to make a pass on Herring. And right here you see Drew Herring leading Bronson Butcher. Bronson's got to make a move. Well, let's go aboard the in-car camera of Drew Herring as Bronson Butcher's breathing down his neck, fighting for this championship battle as he takes a look inside, heading into the carousel. Big run by Bronson. As we go ahead and look on Drew's camera again, Jeremy Clements is right behind him with a big run. We're down to the final lap here. Herring is all over Butcher. He's going to make the bump, maybe going to make the run for the win. And here they come down the final chute, Herring to the inside of Butcher. This is getting heated. Coming out of the final corner, Herring makes the move on Butcher. He wins the race and the championship. Unbelievable finish, and you see Butcher is terribly upset. He knew he had that win, and it slipped out of his hands. And Jeffrey Cordero wins the heavy amateur championship. Well, you see Drew Herring, all he had to do today was win the race and win the championship. So we go down there, Drew Herring winning the race and the championship. He definitely earned it. Too Tall Medill wins the light amateur championship. Tyler Young getting his championship trophy. Jeff Cordero giving his interview. Yeah, we had a real good card today. Uh, this this uh, that GoPro motorcycle number, I don't know, number 21 ran really good today. So. And here they are celebrating all the champions this year, except for Michael Too Tall Medill could not celebrate because he had work pants on. Oh, God. 